Mark, we finally get to meet in yeah. person. I've been, nice to meet you, Eric. Uh, my Eric goodness. Meyer yes. from General Generation Atomic. Generation Atomic. Yeah. Uh, uh, we've been uh, collaborating on, or not collaborating, but interacting on, yeah. twi on Twitter uh, yeah. X for quite some time. Now. Yes, I've been cheering your work on from afar. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and one of, one of our, uh, I always think, think about you, one of our, our best volunteers uh, has Filipino heritage. Which uh, one is this? Alyssa Hayes. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I see her on uh, on X too. Yeah, yeah. yep. She's on there. Uh, yeah. It's been an amazing advocate for nuclear in Illinois. Yeah, um, giving testimony, things like that. Yeah. What I remember you uh, most for is your singing. Ah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Ho hopefully in a good way. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, but I haven't been following too closely what's been going on in the Philippines recently. I, I would love uh, if you could. Give me an update. It sounds like yeah. you're getting pretty close to making yeah, some serious so, progress. Um, there were 13 congressmen that filed a bill to create uh, an independent regulator. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, after reading all of those bills, we begin to began to feel that uh, we were not competent to write such a bill. Uh, so we asked the speaker for help, and he said, "Okay." I, I said, "I suggested we hire an international uh, lawyer expert." On nuclear and uh, in the person of uh, attorney Helen Cook of GNE in Australia in Sydney who has worked with big companies and who has worked with the UAE in their nuclear program in writing their nuclear law and so she drafted a bill for us uh, in consultation with the IAEA so the language is uh, uh, compatible with the language of the IAEA and all the 13 uh, principal authors loved it. So we consolidated our bill and uh, it's been a year now of, uh, there, there are some detractors who challenged every single line of that bill. And so every single line we had to divide the house, the committee, and vote on it. It passed the house on third reading uh, with a vote of 200 yes seven no and two abstentions <laughs> so now it is uh, with the senate and i think we have good uh, senator um, champions who will yeah. fight for this bill and finally open the door for nuclear in the philippines Can after this bill yeah. we need to have a nuclear liability law so that uh, vendors will not be afraid of operating in the Philippines. Wow. Compatible with uh, international norms, it, it will have a coverage of 350 million SDRs, the equivalent of 450 million US dollars, and the, the operator will be liable so that uh, automatically people can get paid if there's an accident, which I think uh, the nuclear industry has demonstrated never comes. Yeah. Or almost never yeah. comes. At least one where yeah. they would have to pay And then out. the last law we need is a Nuclear Incentives Act uh, to give fiscal incentives uh, uh, for those uh, going nuclear. Example is the, and that's why I'm so, uh, this is my first COP, yeah. but I'm so happy that uh, it's, the, it's the most different COP yeah. because a declaration was made by these major co countries six major countries in the world yeah. that uh, recognize the contribution of nuclear in fighting global warming and climate mm -hmm. change. So it, that's not a, an, under discussion anymore. Nuclear uh, allows mm -hmm. net zero by 2050. Without nuclear, the experts say you can't do it. Yeah. Right? Right. And uh, they are pushing for triple the nuclear installed capacity in the world by 2050. That is, I never expected that. Yeah, so it's a, it's a good start. As, 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 as yeah. Yeah. We're, it's probably the best we could hope for, but I know as nuclear advocates, we're like, how about quadruple? Yeah. <laughs> how about quintuple? No, but uh, at least, uh, you know, yeah. it's a big start. You know? start. And then they also promised um, that they would work on uh, special financing for nuclear. Yeah, yeah. So, the World example, Bank. no, Korea Nexin Bank yeah. uh, is giving 0.05% uh, with 20-year grace. So that's like free money. Yeah, yeah. Man. So, 
yeah. if it's nuclear, right? Or, right? or if it's infrastructure for developing countries. Yeah. Give, me, give me a little bit of a history lesson here because, you know, oh, you, you had to, what was regulating your nuclear sector when Bataan was under construction? We had the Philippine Atomic Energy Commission okay. patterned after the US NRC. It's called the, it was the PAE. Yeah. It was uh, dissolved by the uh -huh. co the Corey administration. Well, you in part I think uh, in, in in around 1986 87. Mm. In part in I, in, I I suspect to sabotage that uh, uh, it would be more difficult to activate the the 100 percent complete tank. Just ready to run in uh, in uh, March of 1985. Yeah. It uh, passed the OSART hot functional, uh, no, OSART uh, 2 mission, which certified it as ready for core loading. The, the year prior, it passed all its hot functional testing. So an American ambassador who was anti-Marcos at the time uh, tried to block, although beyond his scope. Marcos being the consummate politician played politics with him and it was delayed till February and the people's power thing happened in the Philippines, the, the revolution, and the rest is history. So you could also blame Marcos for playing politics and not just insisting load the fuel and run it. There's a book, his uh, energy minister, Jeronimo Velasco, there's a chapter on nuclear there where he's arguing with the president, let's run this, we're ready to go. No? And, and what galls me is that I go to Korea in 2009 as guest of uh, KEPCO KHMP, mm -hmm. and in their boardroom I see this ambassador, American ambassador, he's, he's, he's dead now, so rest in peace, um, inaugurating no Korean nuclear power plants. So I said, my God, so close. What was the consequence? Uh, we went 55% coal from that time. Uh, and 20% gas, which is now running out, so it's going to be imported LNG, and the, the coal is also 100% imported from Indonesia. So it's a great drain on our national wealth, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I think the Philippines would be much richer today had we operated that plant and gone 75% uh, nuclear instead of 75% fossil fuels. Today. Yeah, man, so, so true. Um, do you how, how do you think the, the Senate and the, and the House view that decision back then? Well, everybody got so surprised that Marcos Jr. won. Uh, and I think he won because it, it, it was phenomenal, because nobody expected him to win. And I think it was pushed back for 37 years of promises that never materialized. And one of the big promises was cheap electricity never got cheap, got more yeah. expensive all the time. Uh, and so maybe that's why. That's yeah. one of the reasons. Uh, yeah, so you think it's part of, part of the motivation for the overwhelming support? What happened was law? that uh, because our electricity became the most expensive in Southeast Asia uh, uh, and the most unreliable, uh, investors avoided us as an investment destination. They went to Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia. Mm and we lost out. So yeah. if we had, uh, say, cheap electricity at that time, and uh, we got an in incremental 1% uh, additional growth in GDP for each of those years, yeah. our economy would be 37% at least bigger today. That's million, uh, that's trillions, trillions of pesos and, yeah. and millions of jobs. Yeah. That never happened. Uh. Now, the next question is, would it have only been 1%? Or could it have been 2 or 3%? Yeah. That, those are, that's possible. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad you guys are on the right track now. I hope so. Uh, I'm praying. Are, are you looking at SMRs as well? Yes. Uh, but uh, for uh, the big part of our grid, 70% uh, of our GDP happens between my province of Pangasinan in the north and uh, Batangas in the south. Metro Manila is in the middle. 70% yeah. of our GDP there. I think for that part of it, the grid should be big reactors. Mm -hmm. But for the remote parts of the grid, uh, SMRs and micro reactors, as the case may be, depends yeah. on where. Yeah. You know, for the missionary areas where we use diesel generators, 
and the, the, they're subsidized because it's too expensive. Yeah. Uh, I think micro reactors are, are a good thing. Yeah. 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 I'd love to see it. Yeah. Goodness. Um, yeah. Uh, how much motivation was energy for you to run for office in the first place? A very big part of it. Yeah. Uh, so I graduated in 2010. I served three terms. We're only allowed three terms. Yeah. And then you're supposed to wait three years. The, the, the terms are three years each. Yeah. You skip a term, and then you can run another three. Uh, but I got my wife to run, right? so she did two terms. Wow. She did one term as mayor prior to running. And uh, in 2016, uh, we both ran. I ran for governor, she, she ran for Congress. We both lost. Uh, right? So in 2022, I decided to make a comeback by myself in the district of the family that beat us, ah. and I won. All right. Uh, so a uh, big motivation was uh, to be able to push nuclear, not just for the district, but for the entire country. Yeah. And since I won, I've been working on social license in a coastal town of my district that has hills, so that we could be 10 to 15 meters above sea level to be tsunami proof. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I've, there are 10 villages in that town. I've spent over 10 hours in each village, uh, open forum, all the anti-nuclears, tell us your, <laughs> what your concerns are. Yeah. And then we said, if you want uh, progress, I think uh, this is an opportunity because of the controversy. Uh, people say it's unsafe. If, you, if I can convince you that it's safe, and you write a letter to the national government saying that you want nuclear power for the town, uh, and uh, but you want free electricity in exchange for hosting nuclear power. So 2021, uh, use the 2021 uh, consumption as an index and ask for uh, two times that for every thousand megawatts that you host. So the place has a potential to host four to six thousand megawatts. So that's up to up to eight times to twelve times their 2021 consumption. If yeah. that happens, they will have the cheapest electricity in the entire Philippines. Oh, yeah. And so Don't it will be a full... Don't even know what to do with it all. <laughs> EVs, so air conditioning, now we have factories. Everything. Everything. So now uh, we have 65% uh, of voting population, plus a, a few thousand residents that are non-voters, who have signed a notarized letter exactly saying what I, I just yeah. explained to you. Wow. And so I think that's social license. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm curious, uh, you know, for anybody watching who hasn't thought of running for office or maybe is thinking about it but needs some encouragement, which, what would you say to folks who are thinking about running for office for this reason? You have to have a, a clear reason why you want to run. What is it that you want to change? What is it that yeah. you want to do? Because after you've done that, uh, it's not good to be there for the sake of being there, right? Yeah. So Just there, the there, there always has to be a purpose why you want yeah. to be there and what change do you want to affect. And so yeah. for me, it's easy because I've been doing this advocacy for 17 years, three years prior as a congressman and then for what, 14 years or, or, or 13 years as a, as a citizen. Yeah. Right, on my own coin, I paid for buses to bring students and teachers to the nuclear plant to be able to tour them. Right, mm -hmm. I've I've done that. I've gone to all the universities to preach. The, yeah. um, why why do we need this? So I've done my juice. I think I've I've done my yeah. my um, you know leg work. Yeah, yes. sounds like you've worn out some shoe leather yes, getting the message yes. out. I, and you also, I've seen you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, well, do, do, do what I can for yeah. sure. Um, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, how, tell me a little bit about the, the broader pro-nuclear movement in the Philippines. Are, are there other folks yes, that can help you? Yes, now that uh, when I was uh, about uh, three, four years ago, I said I can't do this anymore by myself. I <laughs> yeah. need uh, help. Yeah, in yeah, fact, yeah. I went to environment environmental progress in 2016, ready yeah. to give up. 
Yeah. So I talked to Michael Schellenberger because I wanted him to take over. Yeah. I said, you know, I'm 66 now, right? So, uh, and then I'm, that's where I met Mark Nelson. Right? And then yeah. uh, he said, no, you can't give up. You have to do it yourself. <laughs> and you have to have skin in the game, he said. No? So, uh. so instead of being uh, retiring from that, I got recharged. Oh, man. And go yeah. again, right? And then now we're here where we are. So Alpas Pinas I formed. Uh, mm -hmm. And now we have a... Uh, a it's a small core group of uh, uh, advocates that are doing it for love of country. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I like. That's great. That's yeah. that's what you need. You know, so we we've, we've had uh, quite successful uh, stand up for nuclear events. Yeah. I I, I think uh, you can look at the pictures. And, Absolutely. Uh, and yeah. The, the speeches. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that's beautiful. I'm happy for that. And even in the house, um, uh, my colleagues are. Uh, congratulatory, inquisitive, uh, more inquisitive now than ever before. Yeah. Asking questions and intelligent questions, not just the recycled uh, 1970s anti-nuclear questions anymore. Yeah. Right? So it's grown. I mean, uh, uh, the, 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 it's just a handful, no? Yeah. Uh, the nuclear waste, the safety, yeah. but more and more, it's not that question anymore. The economics yeah. now, uh, right. yeah, why is it going to be cheaper? You know, energy density, yeah. right? Uh, before, that those were not being asked, but now it's being asked. Yeah, and those are legitimate questions, yeah. and the, the industry How clean needs, is it? No. needs to deliver. Yeah. You know, there's there's yeah. reason for skepticism. Yeah. Um, I, I think they are human problems that yes. that can be solved. Yeah. Uh, there's no there's no true barriers. It's yeah. things we can work through. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you think the Philippines could could find some inspiration from the UAE? Thousands of Filipino workers uh, helped build that plant and hundreds of Filipino engineers. Uh -huh. And up to now, there are a lot of Filipino workers there. So oh, I think great. if they can do it here, why can't they do it at home? So, Sounds like a perfect place to leave it, man. Yeah. You're an you're inspiration for us, Mark. Yeah. I really appreciate it. And so are you guys. Ah. And it's an you know, inspiration yeah. for me. Oh, yes. uh, and we need to get together because this is a worldwide problem yes. we need to fix. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Thanks so much. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.